Tips from the Chef on eLearning Chips YouTube channel. Hi everybody! In this tutorial, we will create the starting slide of the course, design previously created slides, and explore two types of animation in Articulate Storyline. Let's get started. Virtually any learning course opens with a starting slide. Let's create it. Click the New Slide button. When the Insert Slides window appears, you can find Slide Master Layouts in the Basic Layouts category. We learned how to work with Slide Master in the third tutorial. Since our starting slide is to be unique, select the blank layout, which means the empty slide. Click the Insert button to add the slide. Call the slide Start Course. Delete all default ticks from the slide properties. Let's start designing the slide. Add the background. As usual, all necessary design elements have been created in a graphics editor and saved in PNG format. The title, for example, My First Course. And the Start button, which will launch the course. Select the button and add the trigger of transition to slide 1. Let's see what we've got. Preview the created starting slide. As the starting slide is ready, we need to add the back button to slide 1. Select slide 1. Add the button. and assign the trigger of transition to the starting slide. Now, let's fill the first slide with content. We are going to place a picture on the slide, for example, a diagram. Explore the eLearning chip stock for the diagram and many other pictures. Let's add some text boxes to the slide. Create the first one and duplicate it. Now let's animate the objects on the slide. Start with the diagram. Go to the Animations tab, select the necessary object, select the fade animation type. Specify the duration of animation, for example, 1 second. Similarly, select the text boxes, select the fly-in animation type, and enter the duration of 1 second. In addition, specify the direction of animated objects. Click Effect Options and select From Right. Animation has been applied to the elements. Now let's use the slide timeline to adjust when each object appears. Preview the slide. Elements appear in turn in accordance with our settings. Go to slide 2. Add a picture and text to it. Let's apply another type of animation to this slide. Go to the Transitions tab, select any of the slide animation types. For example, Split. Set the duration of 2 seconds. Start viewing the slide. As you can see, in this case, animation has been applied to the slide in whole, including the layout element. Preview the project to see how the course has changed visually. Well done! We have added the starting slide, filled some slides with content, and learned two animation types. In the next tutorial, we will create a set of slides for a knowledge check. E-learning chips, online stock for designers and course developers.